Welcome to part seven of Julian Pinot, athletic coach versus Vicky Lee, success coach. Julian is a movement specialist to world-class athletes and featured guest on Barbell Shrugged. Vicky Lee is a success coach to CEOs and Dean's fellow at Harvard University. Julian's specialty is finding the key log, the one thing that will make or break an athlete. Throughout this eight video series, Vicky is going to find Julian's key log, the one thing holding him back from unlimited success. Julian is not yet fulfilling his true potential because he has not yet removed his key log. In this video, Julian grapples with his key log. He realizes that his key log is losing his connection with his brother, Jerome, but he's not quite ready to remove his key log. So Vicky does the same thing that Mr. Miyagi does in the movie Karate Kid. Mr. Miyagi makes daniel son sand the floor, paint the fence, and wash the car a thousand times. After doing it a thousand times, daniel son is finally not afraid to practice his true karate. Vicky goes around and around Julian's key log so that he never suspects that she's zeroing in on it. In the 20 years since Jerome died, Julian has never visited his brother's grave. Watch as how Julian discovers that having a face-to-face -face conversation with Jerome's tombstone will release the fear within him that keeps him from living his true potential. So I'm accusing you of not willing to be your true potential now. You're like, yes. oh, I'll wait. When I become successful, I'll like <clears throat> kick it in the gear. Okay, and so are I'm you saying that? You of, of are you saying that this isn't enough? Then that's all, that's me using just my one percent just to create this, but I could do more. Let me give you an example of mm -hmm. someone who who let that be enough. Mm -hmm. And didn't bring the 99% of him with it. Into it. Mm -hmm. Who allowed his 1%. And be content with it. And evolve the science of his fitness. Mm -hmm. And the other 99% of him. Mm -hmm. Didn't go along for the ride. So I'm, in, I'm talking about Coach Glassman. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I'm gonna, let's talk about CrossFit. You told me before that CrossFit appeals to high anxiety people. Yes. And I said to you, I think CrossFit is so successful because it went against the grain. It was anti 24 hour fitness yes. and commercialism. Yeah. And this was the real deal. It was authentic. It was based on blood, sweat, and puke. All true. And this is air conditioned, and we have daycare, and all true. we have televisions and carpeting. And all this true. was all fake. And the reason why he succeeded was because he had a sounding board. He had a sounding board, he had something to bounce off of. He had an enemy, yeah. Thank you, he had an enemy. So naturally, when you have an enemy, you can define your identity as a hero. So exactly all these right people it. are heroes. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason why this worked is the same reason why porn works. Because for high anxiety people, this extreme type of workout and identity was like a drug. Give people drugs, it sells really well. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now this is not a drug. This was comfort, like a day spa. Oh, I go there and I get a massage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And comfort sells well too. So immediately what happened is the people who want comfort, there's a great market for that. They still make money, but the people who wanted drugs, there's an even they better market for it. <laughs> That's a very good definition of CrossFit. Okay, so I'm asking you, in order to find his true potential, he found exactly what he wasn't. Hate, hate mm -hmm. led him to find himself. In what you do, you didn't give yourself a context, a container. You're like in the middle of the whole universe, thinking of the theory of relativity and da 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 da. And I need a container, at least something that you can bounce off of so that I can define you. Mm -hmm. And so, 
See what he did? Okay, I get it. Okay, so show so me you. The that would okay. That would be and it's bigger than one percent, that's for sure. That would be the field of uh, movement specialists. That would be everybody that is in that is between the sport medicine that is here and um, all this is part of the same world. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. this is part of whatever we're going to call it. The, yeah, the, the, the placated masses. Yeah, it's it's basically like... Uh, Unwanted. You know, like not giving people what they want, but it, this is the... It's not even cultures because that's not the right term, but it's basically the... You're delivering a product. Exactly. The delivery, right? Okay, so this is called consumerism. You're delivering a product. Yeah. So it's, let's call it sales. Yeah, basically, they want, you want to lose weight, you want to get fitter, you want to all this. And then here yeah. is service, because it's like when you go to the hospital. Yeah. Okay, and then? And then the problem is, between here and there, right? Like, um, service is not talking to sales. Mm -hmm. And who gets screwed? The people that are trying to navigate from here to there. And so, oh, I don't know if they get, what I, I, maybe they're talking, but what I know is that sales send people to service and service sends people to sell the problem is the the elevator is broken okay now i mean and so service sends people to sell sell so that system works very well so people end up doing this okay and that has nothing to do with you i understand that but when no i mean basically i mean between i want to be they, there's a gap between here and there and then you know like uh they have to jump from here to there Right, and then you jump back there. But a lot of them fall in the middle, okay. in in, the, in that hole. So you're going to be the elevator. I'm going to be the, the passage exactly. Okay, so go ahead and say I will be the bridge over here where the bridge is. I will be the bridge. Okay, nameless, faceless bridge. No. No, 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 no. No, because you know what? The, the, uh, the way the system is set up, everybody goes from here to there and back here. Everybody does. The problem is the bridge right now is really messed up. I can make a good bridge. That's so boring. You want to be a bridge. Like... I disagree. <laughs> Why? Because people are falling off the bridge. How many? This is where most people get hurt, is in between those two. This is 99% of the population over here, that's like 4%. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, everybody in the population goes from here to there, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Let me tell you the effect on me. It's not exciting. I'm bored. You're a bridge. Tell you something else. Okay, when you're hurt, to be very interested. Yes, I get. I'll get hurt in about ten, fifteen years. Mm, in, in, <laughs> I wish, but unfortunately, not everybody gets hurt right away. But there's there is that gap where most people get hurt. Back okay, and forth. so you have this little bridge. There you go. That's how you can change the world. You can build a little bridge. Uh -huh. You know what you're going to create? A job. You're going to have a great job. So there you are. You built a bridge. There's your job. Dun, dun, dun. I have a job. I'm a bridge. Correct. <laughs> and you think? The I think this is what's going to happen. There's going to be some brilliant kid from China or something, or Bali, who's going to be like, man, this guy is a super fucking amazing dude. He built this bridge. And da 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 da, and you know what? I'm gonna take all his shit, all his knowledge and stuff, and I'm gonna boo an empire. I don't know that they something. can, but that's a little bit the thing. I'm not sure they can. But uh, what do you think the true potential is then? Good question. If I were living my true potential, mm -hmm. would I just be a bridge? If I were living, if you were willing to step into your true potential now, not later. Mm-hmm. What would I create? Yeah. So another field than this then. Not a bridge. 
Oh, you wouldn't even do the bridge? No, no, I would do the bridge because that's uh, people not getting hurt is still, okay, you, still so matters to me. you do the bridge, it takes you five hours. Next, what would you do? <laughs> In the world of fitness, I would do, um, I'd do better than CrossFit, honestly. That's right. What would you do? I would, um, CrossFit has, has, has weaknesses that I've shown. Yes. And I would remove those, basically. Okay. Remember, the first thing that you would do is you would remove weaknesses. Next. Then I would uh, I make CrossFit uh, better. I would make it more... They, they, I mean, I guess that's removing weaknesses, but I would make it better. How? Um, th there are certain uh, principles it was based on where it was wrong. I so, would redefine the principle. Yes. Next. Then I'd be able to, instead of only applying it to people with anxiety, I could apply it to everybody. How? Uh, well, the, 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 for example, I think there's mostly it's either anxiety based or it's either adrenaline based. That seems to be most people, honestly. Mm -hmm. Either anxiety or adrenaline. Right now, uh, CrossFit does not touch the adrenaline people. No, it doesn't. It's so that means it doesn't touch the pro athletes. There's a number of people it does not touch, and right. I would I would go toward those people as well. Okay, you would broaden its base, right? Yeah. The broader the base, the higher the pyramid. You'd broaden its base, and then what? That would probably be enough. But is there more? Well, actually, in a way, yes, because what strong fit could do is even help um, those people in that way, because not everybody lives on that side. Some people live on this side. But and how we could, would it start to spread like a little virus? The coaches, the bullshitters here, I don't think they bullshit um, because uh, stupid is more dangerous than evil. <laughs> Okay. You know what I mean? I don't think they bullshit because they are, they are mean or anything. I think they just can't see another way. And what if people don't want to do snatches? What if people don't want to pull there? But there are certain ways to get better results. And this will help those people get those people better results. Okay. So instead of this being that bullshit fake service that they give, yeah. it could be a service to those people where they could still benefit from it instead of that. Okay, I call it a coach's program because that's how I see yeah. it tangibly. Yeah. I feel like there's a few more things. What else would you do when you reach your full potential? You get you do the bridge in five hours, and then the next thing you do is I would change the the PT uh, system, honestly. Physical therapy. Yeah, there, there are certain things that need to be addressed there. And would you be writing a manual, having curriculum? How yeah, would you the CEUs. Uh, actually, I would do CEUs for PTs. What is CEUs? Uh, continue, continued education. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so these are sort of advanced seminars. Yeah, the, the biggest problem with the PTs is honestly, it's part of how it's built. Is you go through PT school, right? You Eddie Grant and everything, and then you're thrown into the insurance system, and they just go with the machine. Now, I mean, we can make the machine better. Like we can okay. train the PTs. Now we're off track. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why we're off track. Because it's too hard. When it's hard, when it's complicated and hard, it's no longer simple and elegant. We're off track. Okay. Because you can't, it, you can't deal with insurance and get recertified and have the, all the colleges. No, no, that's not where I was going okay, with this. So I was going how? toward uh, making PTs. The, the same with the coaches program, but that would be designed for PTs if you want. But it's not. Those are not the same as those. It's an entirely different idea. I have a lot of PTs that come to me uh, for like, it's the movement well, specialist. That's an offshoot of the coaches program. Yes, yes it is. Okay, actually. so it's yeah. not number five. No, it's not number five. Okay, now, what else would you do? That would, that's just to see how it yeah, yeah, no, no, it is, you're right. It's an offshoot. Okay, so then um, we're missing a couple things. You know, you can feel it. Oh. If you were living your full potential, you would. I would. I mean, uh, would you write a book or something? 
a book, yeah. Because that's uh, they've already been talking about it, so I would. Six. I would definitely write a book. Um, no, I'm not gonna make a movie. Uh, I would definitely write a book. I would. Um, I think I want at the end systemize it. I mean, it's kind of writing a book, but making it systemize it to. Yeah. Okay, you can't systemize it. You'd have to sell to a corporation and they'll systemize No, what I mean by that is like a curriculum. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, a system. You, you, can't, you can yeah. write it, but you'll have to sell it to a corporation. So. Yeah, and then a book is great. Um, you know, the curriculum, you, you know, that, that's a, you have to take a year or two. Off. That's a lot of time. Yeah, it's a lot of time. Yeah, I don't know that well, well, but uh, coaches program, well, after that, there's all the... No, 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 no. Like, you know, the CrossFit affiliate and everything. Okay. You reached your full potential. Mm -hmm. You wrote a book. You did all these things. Oh, you me. You would. Okay. You would. Um, Where would you live? Oh, I would travel. There you go. Definitely. And you would spend more time being a dad. No, a movement specialist. Yeah. You would be a dad more than you would be a movement specialist. Traveling sounds or really a lover good, so. or whatever you are, yeah. that's not that. Traveling, actually, is probably that would be my truly the that's would be traveling. Do. Yeah. And there's one more thing, if I reached my full potential, kind of in honor of Jerome or whatever, I would. If I reached my full potential. If I reached my full potential, in honor of my brother, I would. Uh, that one is more stuck. If I were, okay, so if I were to reach my full potential in honor of my brother, I would. I mean, I would live in the world, obviously, but um, that's kind of trouble, I guess. The only thing that goes to, comes to mind, honestly, is when I've done all that, I'll go, on, uh, I'll go on to his grave and explain to him all I did. I never went. I wasn't there when he was buried. You would do that. You would go to his grave and you would explain to him. What would you explain to him? Everything you missed. Um, Yeah, the life basically, like uh, everything is the life that I had that you didn't see. Um, but I have to make it first. That's okay, you can make it. And then if you were to explain that to him and you reconnected to him, to his soul or his spirit, he would also do something, he would ask you to do something. Yeah, it's pretty big already. <laughs> Going on to his grave and everything. I don't, yeah, that. You would know what the next step is. Is you connect to someone who's gone, but to. So keep, severing the connection? No. You know that once you fire a muscle that you've never fired before, you've mm -hmm. managed to do all your 99% just so you can get to that freaking 1%, mm -hmm. that in order to keep that connection, to practice but, and yeah. make it stronger mm -hmm. you have to but you have to, well, you have to keep practicing and keep flexing keep keep using it basically but he's already heard the story but who hasn't heard the story oh like you mean like the rest of the world right but in the rest of the world the people who would benefit the most From oh. hearing that story would be. You don't know he was the greatest mind in the world, but you don't know if there are other great minds in the world. Oh, so connecting with. Who are willing to self destruct rather than. Well, rather than, well, truly, uh, truly live and be a. Uh... Then truly live yeah. and be 
in tune with the with themselves, basically. I mean, balance, like we talked at the beginning. But if I go to my grave, I mean, to my brother's grave for the first time, and I am willing to accept his death, then I am willing to accept his life. And the way that he lived it, and the choices he made, and I know that he is not my only brother. That there are other brothers in the world that have the same great mind and the same. And willing to connect, life. yeah. And willing to help them. What would Jerome want? He'd want to live again and do it right this time. You'd have to give him a chance that he didn't have a body. But there are others like him that I could help. And then you could see your brother in making a different choice. In that would be really hard. Why would it be hard? Well, it'd be you know facing. Uh, Watching it all over again. How much I'm missing, basically, which is hard enough and to block. And this time, instead of dying, he lives. Yeah, and. Yeah, and that Maybe. means remembering every single time that it, you know, that he did die, even though he lives in them every time. But and seeing it a million times, mm -hmm. and half of them make it. That'd be cool too, actually. In order for your heart to open, it first has to break. If even if one made it, that'd be cool. If even one. Yeah, if one made it, that'd be that'd be enough, right? It would take, oh, yeah, but that's, that comes after all, all this. Because that would take so much out of me. I'm going to tell you the long way and the short way. You want to know both or just one? No, both. The long way is it to do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the short way is to do it this. Seven. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> This is the key law. Yeah, I figure. Ugh. Or we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go to the key law. Yeah. That you got to work up to the key law. You gotta, oh, no matter what, yeah, no matter what you have to, <laughs> no matter, yeah, no matter what you're gonna have to go through it. So, could I do that? Ugh. This is not. Can I? Will I? In no, no, will I? I mean, uh, when I, by the way, can I do that? Can I do that now? Like, but by the I means, can I do that in number seven? Or can I can do that in number one? Can you not do that, number seven, now? No. You're doing it every day since he died. You've done this. Yeah. I'm supposed to go to Paris in August, anyway. It's perfect timing. I, uh, you have two months to prepare. It's fabulous. Oh, I'll. I'll cry for six hours straight, but yeah. Okay, six hours is not a long time to unlock all your success. <laughs> It'll be <laughs> cool. Yeah. Mm, then you've been spending six years, and you could get the same amount of work done in six hours. Yeah. So dealing with it. Dealing with the one thing that is holding everything else back. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. If you do that, your 99%, that's your 99%. Does that mean forgiving him or forgiving me? Well, we'll see when I get to it. Let's think about that. The way you think about that is you feel the feeling. I feel like I... Um, I mean, I, it's one of the reasons I also want to help everybody, because I couldn't help him. Not that he was feasible and I was young, but those are excuses. It doesn't change the fact that I didn't. No. And so... If you're willing to help him by going to his grave, you will then be willing to help everyone else. And the whole time we've been here, that was the key law. You were not willing to help everyone else in the mm. world. Yeah, no, part of it, yeah. But if you help him because you're promised to him and his promise to you 
to be part of infinite intelligence forever and play with it, then you will be willing to help the rest of the world. And that's your true potential. Hmm. Everything else is detailed. I'll do it the short way. I'm putting it off long enough anyway. The hardest way is the easiest, is the shortest way, and the fastest way, and the easiest way. Yeah, it has to be done, so. It does not have to be done. You have to be done. Yeah. I mean, the rest is just work, so that's not, you know. That's not the key log. The rest is just work. That's, I mean, it's easy, you know. You gotta way. finish something. Yeah, exactly. That's different. And yeah. when you finish this, you can finally start strong. Let me call. I might go six after seven, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this is August, whether you do six or not. Okay. Yeah, no, no, what I mean is after seven, I'll. The true, um, the true road, really, and I know is six. It's traveling. It's going to doing it in Australia, doing it everywhere, doing. I mean, and not being stuck in torrents. That's the true way. Which is basically not your cave. Yeah. The true way is not to be in the cave. Yeah, that's it's living here and you know going to Australia, going to those places to. Uh, Okay. Do the rest, yeah. But that I could feel. Like, the the life forward was like, you know, two months here, two months there, stuff like that. That I know that for a while now. Okay, so the Jedi and whatever his plan was, we don't need him anymore. We have children. And our 99%. The Jedi already gave us the one percent, so we don't need them anymore. That's all good. We took his yeah. stuff. Mm. We're ready to go. <laughs> no, that's the path. It's just that would be so strange. Because man, that's a real conversation I have with every single day. So yeah. You had that conversation every so many single times. day. And so many times. So that would be that would be interesting. It'd be a condensed conversation in an hour, but yeah. The difference is it's not in your kid. And now it means something. It means the world. Even having conversations with someone who's dead every day, and now you're gonna have a conversation to someone who's willing to live through your life and all the lives you're going to touch. When you connect with your brother again, you bring him back to life. He's been waiting on that. So that'd be cool. That'd be cool to do one. That would be cool. I have to do that one first. <laughs>